Cowboy Bebop. If you haven't seen it, just kidding. But seriously though, in case you've never seen it, Cowboy Bebop is an anime that tells a story about a crew of bounty hunters going on wacky adventures across space. What's really interesting is that in this show, the bounty hunters are the good guys, while the people with the bounties they go after are the bad guys, usually criminals, like a smuggler, for example. In fact, in the very first episode, our main characters are trying to capture a bounty on a guy who's smuggling an extremely dangerous drug. What always stood out to me was just how different they depicted a smuggler compared to Star Wars. That guy was ruthless, rage-pilled, bro was on the verge of fighting his own chromosomes. Whereas in Star Wars, they seem to always want to depict smugglers as the good guys for the most part. Just so we're all on the same page here, a smuggler is someone who secretly transports illicit goods or people to avoid laws, regulations, taxation, or some other type of impediment. Basically moving stuff you're not supposed to have somewhere it's not supposed to be. In Star Wars, the most commonly smuggled good was spice, aka space cocaine. Now, I'm not trying to get into a long heated discussion about the ethics of drug trafficking, but most people would argue that it has a pretty overall negative effect on society, regardless of who you want to blame for the root of the problem. It is criminal activity, which theoretically would attract various types of people from diverse backgrounds. However, Star Wars really wants to convince us that only a very specific type of person does that line of work. You know, the bad boy who's not really all that bad deep down male archetype. I guess you could call it the Han Solo effect. Because Han Solo was the very first smuggler that we saw in Star Wars, most other depictions of smugglers are based off of him. Tobias Beckett, his crew, Nick O'Carr, the smuggler class in the Old Republic game. All of these guys have a very similar roguelike personality, smooth talkers, a little dangerous, but they all kind of have that inner heart of gold. Some may be a bit more sussy than others, sure, but overall, they're each a pretty good person at the end of the day. It's kind of like when you hear a girl describing her dream man as a, a sweetheart with a dangerous side. Now, you may say, wait a minute, that doesn't really describe Solo. Han Solo wasn't always a good guy, he was cold as fuck before he joined the Rebels. And while that might be how fans interpreted him, that wasn't always the intent. It's pretty common knowledge now that George Lucas changed the Han shooting Greedo scene many, many, many times. However, what's really interesting was Lucas's reasoning for why he changed that cantina shootout scene. Just listen to this. Well, the issue was is that we, it was always meant that Greedo fired first. And in the, in the original film, you don't get that too well. And then there was a discussion about, well, it's good that it's left amorphous and everything, but I basically, um, in terms of Han's character and everything, I didn't like the fact that when he was introduced, the first thing he did is just gun somebody down in cold blood. That wasn't what was meant to be there. Lucas basically admits that he never even intended for Han to be cold as fuck. Like, yeah, he wanted to be a bit rough, a little reckless, but not like a cold-blooded shooter from old block. If we consider Lucas's intent for Solo's introduction, that Han Solo was always supposed to be somewhat of a good guy, then we can assume that his profession of smuggler was chosen to complement this. This general attitude seemed to cement the idea that being a smuggler was not meant to be seen as serious criminal activity that actually harms people. Even though drug trafficking definitely can and does harm people in the real world. In Star Wars, it's just a cool sounding job that makes a character a bit more roguelike, but not a bad person per se. 
It's almost like the in-universe profession as a whole is supposed to be a reflection of Han Solo. This is probably why they made Poe Dameron a former smuggler too. Oh, oh, so, so sorry, a spice runner, spice runner. Okay, JJ. Um, it's the same thing. Because being a former smuggler tells us that he's got a, a rough side, a wolf within him, but he's still a good man at the end of the day, just like Han Solo. But should it really be like this? Why can't we have a bit more variety on what smugglers should look like? I mean, there's nothing roguelike or cool about my plug, he's just a guy, kind of a dork to be honest. There should be smugglers that are unremarkable, forgettable, someone that would actually blend in. And then there should be smugglers who are just heartless, malicious, dangerous, like the guy from Bebop. You know, like switch it up a little. Just look at bounty hunters, for example. Most bounty hunters are portrayed as bad guys, sure, but there's a lot more variety on the type of bad guy, if that makes sense. Some bounty hunters have no problem switching sides if the money's right, while others won't. Some of them, like Cad Bane, are extremely cruel, but can still have a sense of honor? While other bounty hunters don't have any redeeming qualities. Some are smooth talkers, others aren't. Some aren't even all that bad. Din Djarin's basically a straight up good guy, heroic, noble, caring, despite being a bounty hunter. When it comes to smugglers, we don't really see this kind of variety very often. They're almost all portrayed as that similar, sly, charismatic, smooth talking bad boy. I know some people might argue that Beckett was a bad guy in the end. However, I never really saw him that way. Beckett was pretty much more of like a mentor figure to Han throughout the whole movie. Literally gave him a heads up on his betrayal. And he also stood there monologuing rather than shooting Han. Likely because he didn't really want to kill Han, despite what he said. All I'm arguing is that it'd be nice to see a bit more variety on the type of smugglers that we see in Star Wars, as far as their personality goes. I started thinking about this when I saw the trailer for Star Wars Outlaws, the new open world Star Wars game that's going to be focused on the criminal underworld. The main character, K Vess, definitely stood out to me. She has that Han Solo-esque outfit, the non-human co-pilot sidekick, she pilots an old light freighter, and she even has that quippy and charismatic personality. That same rogue-like personality we see with most of these smuggler types, similar to Han Solo. And I'm sure that was the developer's intent, right? Like, I'm sure that's what they wanted, that's what they were going for. This is where the fun begins. And that's fine in and of itself, but it makes me wonder, is there really only one way to be a scoundrel? Now, I don't know if k -Vess is a smuggler per se, the game hasn't came out yet, but it made me think, wouldn't it be interesting to see an outlaw type of character that isn't portrayed as a good guy deep down for once? At the very least, it'd be nice to kind of move away from the Han Solo archetype. Yo, if you made it this far in the video, I love you so much, bro. I've got a couple more ideas for some videos, so stay tuned. All right, bye. Papa would have chop up, Papa would have stick. Young as they don't go when they shoot, they never miss. Remember, I was down bad looking for a leg. Now I'm getting to the back. I ain't